Hey guys, <clears throat> in the last video, I bought this saw and I forgot to put on the dogs. So I lost one of the screws. This one was on the table. And so the only thing I have is a couple of spare screws. Hopefully I can get one that will work. I don't wanna to have to go to the store to buy one little tiny screw. And even if I did, I don't think I'd be able to find that particular one. So, wish me luck. All right, I'm gonna put my glasses on because these things are like, everything's tiny. All right, I'm about to, the sad part is, <laughs> I, I had such a hard time getting this saw put back together once I took the side cover off. Now I'm gonna have to do it again. Be aware, <laughs> that little nut, when it comes off, it stays off. I like the newer saws. They have um, a uh, <clears throat> capture on the side of the side plate. They don't allow that nut to ever disappear. So that's handy when you're in a tree, anywhere really, but especially when you're climbing a tree. Then you have to take that sucker off when you're up in a bucket truck. And you, I used to. I used to put it in my mouth because <laughs> like I didn't want to drop it. I didn't care how greasy nasty it was. It was worth it because I never wanted to lose that. And sometimes you, I don't know, when you're climbing all the way up a tree and you don't want to have to, you know, I've been by myself before and I didn't want to have to uh, climb all the way back down to put my saw back together. So I did it in the tree. So anyway, I gotta take this thing all apart again just to put the dogs on it. But the good news is these are steel dogs. A lot of these smaller saws have plastic dogs and they don't work that well. So, why is this not lining up quite right? Okay. There's a couple extra holes here. I don't know why. I think that's the way it goes. Yeah. All right. Because you put it this way, it wouldn't make sense. Which way should I go? Where's the old show? I should know this just by looking at it, but does it show anything? But <clears throat> seems like I should go that way. I don't know why I'm having such a problem with this. Either way, it doesn't fit quite right. Either way. I'm trying to figure out what the best way to do it. To me, it seems like they would bite better that way. We'll 
we'll see. Let me put them this way. Now these are self-tapping screws, so. how they hold up here. This screwdriver is stripping the screws out. How stupid is that? Can you believe that? This screwdriver is stripping the screws out. So I'm going to get a different screwdriver or different screws because this is once I get it in there, it's going to be stripped out. So give me a second. Maybe I won't even use these screws anyway. Man, this is... I think this screwdriver is just really cheesy. Let me go get a better screwdriver. Hold on a second. Oh, man. You know, I've got a better screwdriver than that somewhere. Hold on. Should have did this in the first place. <laughs> All right. I'm sure I have a screwdriver in here somewhere that's better than theirs. That looks better. Well, that would suck. Stripping out all the screws. Not good. That actually, that might work now. It was just a screwdriver that was uh, not that great. It's not the screw's fault. Let's try that. And I'm going to back it off a little bit. So, I can start the other one. And hopefully, this won't ruin it. Actually, I almost like that one better. Okay. All right. There you go. I almost want to put both of my flats in there, but got one stock screw, one factory, and then one not factory. All right, now let's see if we can do this any better than I did last time, because I was not good at that one last time. I'm just double checking, making sure everything's tight here. So, You have one of these saws. Just remember, know that you'll strip the screws out, and we don't have an Allen wrench to fit that. So that's another thing. This Allen wrench here is different. It's not quite the right size. I don't believe. I think it's going to strip out or something. It's a weird size. It's in between, or maybe that's a star wrench. Anyway, if you get one of these, be careful. This Phillips is not very good. So you might want to get a, a really good Phillips because the, the screws are fine. But like I've seen, I'm, I'm going to strip that sucker out. So luckily, I stopped before I stripped it all the way out. Stable, able to use it, and 
I think I can still extract it. But I did lose somehow one of the black screws. So that was probably my fault because they were loosely packaged. They weren't taped together and I didn't know, I didn't realize I needed them. So I wasn't paying close enough attention to detail. And I think we're gonna run into the same issue. This is not a friendly saw to put the chain on for some reason. At least not for me. All right, I did that a little bit better than I did last time. Maybe it's just trial and error. Okay, now this has two hooks. So it's kind of like a cell phone or something. You gotta hook those two hooks. If you guys can see that or not. You have to hook these two hooks and these two holes, which is a pain in the butt. Last thing you want to be doing is having to tip the saw all kind of directions to get it back together because the chain's loose. And then you got the tensioner. So I don't think that was a good idea. I guess if you got a lot of time, I'm going to go ahead and throw the nut on there just to hold everything together. For now and then remember you still have this allen allen screw which i don't really like this at all this is like retarded so that's your extra screw that no other saw that i've ever seen has to take the side cover off so this is what you're going to have to deal with if you take this out in the field and your chain falls off you're going to have to make sure that you do not lose <laughs> that thing and then you got to carry an allen wrench with you and you're probably going to have to carry a phillips head because a lot of this a lot of these screws and stuff are phillips heads so that's something we usually do not carry with us because most scrunches have a flat head and we don't usually disassemble saws that far so all right i think I did it without too much hassle. So, we got our dogs on, they're probably backwards, but who knows. I think that's the way they should be. And that's why, like when you're pulling against the saw, that's gonna dig in. So if you're sawing and you're pulling back, that's how I'd want them, so you're, digging into the wood so we'll see how this works I don't know it's kind of like it could go on almost either way because some of the teeth are pointing different directions but we're gonna try that if I don't like it I'll flop it back the other way but uh, I didn't show on the directions I might even sharpen these too I kind of like mine that short and pointy but I do like the fact that they are steel so these will definitely help <clears throat> and uh, they're better than those little plastic ones even the steel on some of my steel saws are plastic dogs so I don't know why they can't spend the extra dollar fifty and put get metal ones so anyway I got all my stuff back put my cover back on here we'll go fire this thing up tomorrow and make sure I have all my Allen wrenches with me, my little file. I'm probably gonna even fold this up and stick this in here. Because if I don't, it's gonna end up being in a file somewhere and I'll never have it. Make sure I have that. And I'm probably gonna have to bring a Phillips head, a good Phillips head with me at all times as well. So I'll just throw that in there for now until I find it another one. I'm not sure what this is, so I'm not quite sure. I have to Google that thing. Um, I don't know if that's a 
I've never seen one of these for a saw. So if you guys know what this is, let me know. Um, I don't see anywhere where it saw it screws on the saw. It looks like um, an additional. Uh, I've seen these on maybe brackets on the handle, but I don't know where it goes. I don't know if it's a spare. Oh, wait a minute. I think I see it. See inside there? There's a bushing. It's a bushing. It's got a plastic bushing inside there. So this is like a spare bushing. Hmm. That's, I think that's the same. Yeah, it's kind of like where the goes underneath the uh, sprocket. So supposedly these must wear out a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back in the bag. <laughs> Never never seen one of those on a saw but I don't break down saws might be a little different than the steel and the husky so anyway this is Roger with Roger's reviews hundred dollar saw got it all put together got to fire it up tomorrow so we'll see if uh, if we can use it at all and if nothing else I can throw it in the truck for a spare never know as long as it runs and cuts we should be able to do something with it and uh, for a hundred bucks, I mean, it's hard to believe they can even make a saw for a hundred dollars. If it runs and performs, even better. But you can't bitch about too much, even though they're, I mean, I kind of picked it apart and I'll probably pick it apart tomorrow as well. But it just shows you that once you master manufacturing, um, there's not really much cost in it. You know, once you mass produce something, you can make them super cheap. So you never know. Maybe steel and husky are mass producing stuff somewhere, and it's not cost them near what you think. So the same exact saw, if it was a steel, would be six or seven hundred dollars, or at least three or four hundred. I know the quality; it's probably not as good, but I definitely think they can. Uh, trim down the prices instead of going up so anyway we will see you tomorrow i know tom's probably listening and wondering why i'm buying a cheap saw well tom this is just to see if a hundred dollar saw will work i'm not going to be buying a bunch of these and running my tree service with hundred dollar saws so this is just for fun shits and giggles anyway we'll see you next time have a great day god bless